Hey there, anime fans! Welcome back to Otaku Recommends, your ultimate destination for all things anime. Today we've got an intriguing list for you. The top 10 anime where the overpowered main character finds themselves in an all-girls school. If you enjoy seeing how an OP character navigates the unique challenges of these settings, this list is for you. So hit that subscribe button and let's dive into the world of anime with our powerful protagonist. Number 10 on our list is Unlimited Fafnir. Dragons, these massive and supernatural beings, suddenly appeared and wrought havoc in the world. Just as unexpectedly, they vanished, leaving no trace. After their disappearance, some people, mostly girls, began to manifest abilities akin to the dragons and were known as type dragons or Ds. But then, a boy with these powers emerged. Yu Mononobi, a soldier of NIFL, finds himself as the first male student at Midgar Academy, a school exclusively for girls where Ds become formidable weapons to combat dragons. His journey unfolds as he must adjust to this new life, master his newfound abilities, and team up with his fellow Ds to battle these formidable creatures. Can they triumph in their mission? At number nine, we have ladies versus butlers. Following the loss of his parents, Akiharu Hino joins Hakureryu Academy, a unique institution accommodating both the privileged and their servants. He's placed in the house management department, where he trains to become an elite butler. However, his intimidating appearance poses a challenge, especially with the girls. On his very first day, a massive misunderstanding unfolds, setting the stage for a complex journey. Can Akiharu win the hearts of the students at this academy despite these initial hurdles? Coming in at number eight, is Makin Ki. Takeru Ohiyama's enrollment at Tenbi Academy reveals a unique twist. It was once an all-girls school that's now co-ed. Here, students are not like those in other schools. They each require a Makin, a special tool that unleashes their magical powers during duels. The twist? Takeru doesn't possess a Makin of his own. Will he succeed in finding a Makin and unlocking his magical abilities in this extraordinary environment? Number seven on our list is Sky Wizards Academy. In a world where wizards battle the devastating devil beetles, protecting humanity from extinction, civilization thrives in floating cities, like the prestigious city of Mistogan, home to the Sky Wizard Division. Kanata Age, known as the Black Master Swordsman and a former traitor, is given a chance at redemption. His mission, to train the unruly fire team E-601, a ragtag group of misfits. Can he turn this unlikely team into skilled warriors and reclaim his lost honor? Halfway through our list at number six is Seitokai Yakuindomo. Usai Private Academy, initially an all-girls school, took a bold step to admit boys. Freshman Takatoshi Tsuda found himself thrust into the role of student council vice president on day one because they needed a male viewpoint for the transition. Reluctant at first, he gradually acclimated to the council. As the sole male in this group, can the student council fulfill its goal of successfully integrating male students into the academy? At number five, we have Blade Dance of Elementalers. Arishia Spirit Academy is a place solely for shrine princesses, women with the power to make pacts with spirits. Solomon was the only man ever to become an elementalist. Kazahaya Kamito gets a special invitation from the headmaster, Greyworth Seal Maze. On his journey, he meets Claire Rouge, who's eager to bond with a sealed sword spirit. To everyone's surprise, Kamito successfully forms this bond, becoming the first male elementalist in a millennium. Now, as he enters the academy to prepare for the upcoming blade dance competition, he has just two months to get ready. Can he find his spirit, Restia, and triumph in the blade dance? Coming in at number four is Kampfer, Natsuru Seino, a high school boy stumbles into a perplexing situation. He's chosen to be a Kampfer, which transforms him into a girl. What seems like a dream is all too real. In the quest for answers, Natsuru joins other Kampfers and enrolls in the girls section of his school, turning into a double enrolled student when his childhood friend falls for his female guise. As he adapts to this dual life and hones his Kampfer skills, he faces a formidable challenge. Other campfers are on a mission, and his life hangs in the balance. Will he emerge victorious or face his demise? At number three on our list, we have undefeated Bahamut. 
Five years ago, the Arcadia Empire saw a coup d'etat that put an end to a century of oppressive rule, and the enigmatic figure known as the Black Machine Dragon was the hero behind this uprising. To this day, the true identity of this knight remains shrouded in mystery. Lux Arcadia, the former prince of the empire, has a chance encounter with the princess of the new kingdom, Lisa Sharta Atismata, at the most inopportune moment. Following a duel with the princess, he gains admission to the academy, where he'll undergo training to become a royal drag knight. Our runner-up at number two is armed girl's Machiavellianism. Fudo Nomura's past brawl got him expelled from his previous school, leading to a transfer to Aichi Coexistence Private Academy. Here, the female students, who were once delinquents themselves, oppress the male students sent for reform. The enforcers of this change are the Supreme Five Swords, a group that preaches coexistence. Their philosophy dictates that to survive in this school, males must cast away their dignity and live as females. Nomura, however, rejects this idea and dares to challenge the leader of the Supreme Five Swords, Rin Onigawara. He's determined to carve out his own path in this new school, fighting for peace and freedom. Can he succeed against the odds? And finally, at the top of our list, we have Infinite Stratos. Infinite Stratos, IS, a versatile exosuit, was originally created in Japan a decade ago for space exploration. However, its formidable power led to its military prohibition, and only women were allowed to pilot it. That is, until Ichika Oromura emerged as the sole male with the ability to control an IS. Enrolling at Infinite Stratus Academy, an all-girls boarding school designed for IS pilot training, Ichika embarks on a busy new chapter in his life. Surprisingly, he begins to relish the unique challenges and experiences this academy has to offer. That wraps up our list of the top 10 anime where the overpowered MC attends an all-girls school. Did your favorite make the list? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more intriguing anime content. Until next time, keep watching and exploring the diverse world of anime.